Good morning, folks. Sorry for being a bit late. Dad duty doesn't always end at the time of night you anticipate. We've got a CME to track on its way to Earth and some big news to get to today. I want to jump right to the sunspots because on the south, another active region is crackling. It is on the same longitude as the northern group we have been tracking. Eyes on them both. And of course, it was yesterday we reported the double CME release. One of those is heading our way and in terms of an impact. NASA's Enlil Spiral has it in the early hours UTC tomorrow, which is when most of the Western world is sleeping. Stereo speed suggests it could be a bit later in the midday range, but eyes open for impact expected to be moderate, producing minor geomagnetic storms. Let's head over to some articles where they've tracked caldera collapses to bigger and longer lasting eruptions. This was the case just a few years ago when Hawaii roared to life. It was the largest eruption in 200 years there, and the largest caldera collapse in that time as well. As you may have guessed, the plasma release experiment did not happen again last night. If you are in the viewing zone, you need to be checking the Wallops Twitter feed. They are very up to speed with updating the public during those launch windows and are trying again tonight. Up next, we're going to let the high detail view of magnetic fields in the galactic center take us into the big stories today. Most prominent feature is the congruity of the field shape and direction rather than chaos as older models predict it likely part of the internal torus around the core there. In another added to the numerous studies to show this, we have another one showing how the multiple ripples in the galaxy begin way, way in towards the core, having more wraparound features than the entire galaxy has spiral arm concentrics. And surprise, the larger scale magnetic field is tracing the spiral and contains those numerous features expected as well. While the number of field alterations in the ripples should be obvious, in the plane view, we can see the magnetic field begin to undulate, become ribbed, wavy, with the Parker instabilities up and down the breakaway field lines at higher latitudes. That up and down extended field lines coming off the bulges is the secondary produced field structure that can be seen at the top and bottom of each waveform. It's part of the Parker instability of the galaxy just like the Parker spiral of the solar system. And so, we briefly come back to May 2nd, that story on Voyager hitting a pressure front. In that story, they had mentioned the 2017 pressure front as well, and we were wondering if they really meant to say wave, wondering if the 2017 or 2020 detections may have been a deeper aspect into the sheet in the galactic magnetic reversal. Today, we have another one on these pressure fronts, specifically the 2017 event. As they notice a plasma hiss, blamed on interstellar gas, beginning at that time, and not having stopped since then, they combine it with the magnetic data from that time, and what they had called a pressure front is now called what we said it should be called, a magnetic pressure wave. Folks, I can't sit here and tell you they are ever going to say it to us more plainly than that. The heliopause crossing shocks were in 2012 and 2014. 2017 was a magnetic pressure wave, and that means the 2020 event may be as well. We do expect multiple as we enter deeper into the galactic reversal zone in the sheet. Folks, over the last 10 years, we've had papers, interviews, conferences, guest appearances, and dozens of classes, six books, and more. Most of our stuff is now on sale at otf.cells.com to celebrate 10 years of the channel. And of course, this is also where you get the founder's sweatshirts for Observer Ranch. These come with your name memorialized at the ranch as a founder and your ticket to the first Observer Ranch event next year. We greatly appreciate your support. Get our books and more at otf.cells.com. It has been an amazing 10 years, but the Earth and Sun are ready to one-up at this next decade. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.